Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Now let's see some of the questions on screen scope activity properties. The first question, what does the target dot wait for ready property in the CV screen scope activity control? Options are the amount of time to wait for the OCR engine to respond. The delay before the activity begins performing any operations. Waiting strategy for the UI elements of the target application to become ready for executing the action. Option D, the time to wait for the target UI element to exist before executing the action. Now, this question can be slightly confusing, but if you know target dot wait for ready, what it does, you'll be able to answer this question. Now pause this video and comment your answer. So let me reveal the answer. The answer is the waiting strategy for the UI elements of the target application. It waits for the UI elements, right? Wait, target wait for ready. Now here, let me show you the documentation. Target wait for ready has got three different options: None, interactive and complete. None means does not wait for anything except the target UI element. Interactive means waits for the UI elements you are working with the target app. Complete means waits for all the UI elements. So here the most appropriate answer would be the waiting strategy for the UI elements of the target application. So it is waiting for the UI elements. It doesn't talk about time, the time to wait. It doesn't, you don't specify a time, right? The amount of time. It's not about delay before the, so the best answer is C. All right. Now let's see the second question. Within the CV screen scope activity, how does the element detection option in the CV method property contribute to computer vision task? So it is talking about element detection. Now the question comes where this element detection comes in the CV screen scope activity. So on my screen, this is the CV screen scope activity. And here, if you go to the CV method property, there is an option here called element detection and OCR. So this question is around this. Now let me read the options for you. For task centered around image automation, is it talking about image automation when the primary objective involves OCR on the target application? Specifically when opting for the UI path screen OCR engine or as part of a comprehensive approach utilizing computer vision for element detection. So what is this element detection? I think the answer is there in the word itself. Now let me show you the documentation before you answer. The documentation is here. I'm going to pass this link. So if you see there are three options. None means uses only image automation. Remember this is very important. Element detection uses computer vision. OCR uses optical character recognition. So these are the three different options given and this question is framed on that. So the right answer for this is as part of comprehensive approach utilizing computer vision for element detection. This is the answer. Now let's see the third question. What is the purpose of private property in the computer vision screen scope activity? So it is asking in the computer vision screen scope activity, what is the use of this private property? Do you see this private property? If I check this, what would happen? If I uncheck this, what would happen? So what is the use of private property? That is the question. Now, here are the options for you. It ensures that uh, the analysis is kept private and not logged. It restricts access to the OCR results. It prevents the OCR engine from interacting with private information. It has no impact on the privacy of the OCR. So what is the right answer that you think? Comment your answer in the comment section. Now let me reveal the answer. The answer for this one is it ensures the analysis is kept private and not logged. So when you go for a verbose mode, it doesn't log it, right? So the definition that you would find is here. When you go for private, if selected, the values of the variables and arguments are no longer logged at verbose level. So this is the right definition. Getting it? So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.